Rome to the Vatican to learn the rite of exorcism. A movie was actually based on his experiences in Rome, starring Anthony Hopkins. Basically, this dude's the real deal. We're gonna be happy that we talked to him and had his guidance when we go to some of these places. Yeah, I think so. We better, we better stock up on some knowledge here, otherwise we're gonna get murdered by ghosts. You're gonna be thankful that we're meeting this guy later, I promise you. I promise Aww. you, you will regret that statement. If anything happens, just do not be afraid. That's all you have to keep repeating. He said it a bunch of times in the Bible. Jesus said chill. <laughs> Jesus said chill, yeah, sure. Uh, this looks like Disneyland. I wouldn't be surprised if they got cotton candy in there. <laughs> yuck it up, man, yuck it up. You're really enjoying this, but when the lights go off, this may be a little different. Sarah actually passed away in this very room in that bed right there. Hell of a bed. I, I assure you, in like half of the places you've been, people have died there. People have probably died in the Chipotle we just ate at. Let's just get into it. Okay. Why do you not believe ghosts are real? Uh, I've never seen one. Okay, I mean, there's a lot of things that you can't see that you are real, I feel like. What can't I see? You can't see gravity, that's real. Yeah, I can drop an apple. Fuck. <laughs> it's really something. You're the worst. I no, I genuinely, like, this is neat. If I have to spend one more moment sitting in this chair, looking at that silly face, I think I may murder you myself. <laughs> All right, we're getting out of here. Okay. I don't know if this is a sign, but I'm in the bathroom at this bar, and this mirror literally has blood dripping from it. But I'm gonna go with another beer, so we're good. Oh look, a teddy bear. <laughs> oh fuck, a spider. <laughs> Drawing new visitors that would trade dolls for produce grown on the island, consequently creating an extraordinarily bizarre barter system. He probably fucks the dolls, can I say that? Oh. <laughs> I thought you would have a, like some respect for this place, but <laughs> nope. Went in straight with the fucks the dolls. Yeah, I'm, I'm with Pepe on this. This yeah. is getting way off track. Sorry, okay. Is, They've got dolls that piss themselves. I mean, do you think these dolls look like they have remotely any kind of technological capability? There, there was a Mickey Mouse over there with a little pull string. Did it work? I don't know. I didn't touch it. I feel like you touched it. Hi, kids. I did touch it. Oh god. <laughs> All they need is some WD-40. Mm, that will... Man, this is nice. You know what a place like this would cost in Los Angeles? It's an arm and a leg. Let's just tell the story of this house. How about that? Ryan, don't look over here. There's a little stuffed animal. Don't wanna... All right, we are in the kitchen. Please turn the light on for us. Please don't. Please don't do it. Demon? Stop calling it that. Demon! Stop it. Stop talking to it. No, I just want to talk to the demons. We met a pal named Father Thomas. He told us not to talk to you, but I think you guys are swell. As much as I hate to say it, I'd plan on slitting her throat. Jesus Christ! <laughs> if you slit my throat tonight, I'm gonna have a hard time forgiving you for that. Would you haunt me for the rest of my life? No, because I'll be dead. Well, Ghosts aren't real. Oh, okay. Fair enough. That demon's racist. He was like, oh, there was a, a black lady who lived here? Wait a minute. Mm. No, I can't haunt with that. Well, demons... What about a little, little white girl? A little blonde one, I'll give her pigtails. Demons don't- Fuck that demon, he's whitewashing the history of this house. He's exactly what's wrong with Hollywood. So if you're there in the hole, you must speak to us or communicate with us. Turn that flashlight on. Please don't, please don't, please don't. That's me, sorry. Right. Oh, thank God. Fucking thank you, So God. we're giving off high MF here because of this. Whoa. Oh, that thing. So that's a false read. But since there's a lot of electricity coming through the here, that's saying they can feed a spirit. Oh, that's good, let's feed it more. Why not, right? He's hungry. If you wanna eat my heart, turn that light on. I think this demon's a wimp. He's lost his mind. <laughs> you wanna lay on the pentagram? Here we go. You're out of your mind. Rock and roll, buckaroo. If you wanna eat my heart, turn that light on. If you wanna eat Ryan's heart, don't, don't turn that light on. Stop putting me in your shit. Our old pal, Ryan Bergara. Stop. We're a package deal. Oh, the lights on, Ryan. Look at the lights. Demon, we got him. Jesus Christ. Turn it off for us, please. For Ryan's sake. Ah! <laughs> no! Fuck this house, dude. Look, you've made up your mind. You're done. You don't have it in you. <laughs> Stop saying that. You're making me no, want to do it. I'm just saying. You don't have it in you. It's fine. Do not be afraid. You're right, I don't have it in me. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's go. All right. <laughs> Fuck you. I hope you're fucking looking at this now, motherfucker. Did you just call the demon a motherfucker? No, I don't give a shit now. I'm gone. <laughs> Peace out, bitch. 
but when that flashlight turned on, I think that's a uh, proof positive. Ghosts and or demons are real. There's no other explanation for it. No, I just think it was a, a wonderful coincidence. And I'm glad it happened because we got to see you uh, turn into a babbling mess. Coincidence five times in a row. So, let's drop some sweet knowledge. I'm already fed up with the folders, by the way. Looks too official, All right. considering the nonsense that is within. <laughs> That's cool. You have nothing to say about any of that. I, I, I will fight you tooth and nail when it comes to ghouly ghosts, but aliens are a little more uh, probable. I win. No, you don't win. Uh, I think I won. Because I'm sure you've got plenty of other stuff on here that's very dumb. I think they lied. I have yet to see any compelling uh, evidence. I thought that was compelling unless, you, of course, they lied. You think a lot of things are compelling. I felt that very compelling. Go fuck yourself, have a nice day. All right. The third theory is that those lost in the Bermuda Triangle are actually now residents of the legendary lost civilization of Atlantis. <laughs> no, they're, no, no, they're not. Nope. Now all the frustration I had in the first half of this is now equally composited on top of you. Are they breathing underwater? <laughs> Visitors and employees claim that doors lock themselves shut. Footsteps can be heard. Shadows follow you. Shadows do tend to follow you though. That's sort of how they work. What do you think? Is this a joke? This is the one chance we get to stay someplace nice. And Willow Creek? All we Creek? do is sleep in haunted places and dirty old hospitals. We can't stay one place nice once. But how, how often do you get to say you were a part of history, which is what we're about to be? We're about to etch ourselves in the stone of Bigfoot lore. Are you, you, go, you, could, about you could etch yourself, sir. Well, it was supposed to be fun. I'm not the biggest believer in Bigfoot. Why would you be? It's, it's plausible and um, grounded in reality. So uh, this is actually the local museum in Willow Creek. It's the uh, Willow Creek China Flat Museum. There's a lot of interesting Bigfoot artifacts in there that I think you will find particularly interesting because you're such a big believer. Yes. You can see the big statue, probably one of your great grandfathers it's back not, in the day. I'm not a Bigfoot. That's uh, Albus Madei right there. I'm a human being. Okay, I think we're ready to get this going. Let's gear up. <sighs> actually. What is that? So, so I don't get shot. That's gonna scare it away. It's not gonna scare it away. It's gonna make me look more festive. And I won't get shot. So there's that. That's an added bonus. Have fun getting shot. I'm not if gonna help you. If we do run into a Squatch, the Squatch is gonna see you and just bolt in the opposite direction. Or you could be like, wow, what a colorful vest. I don't think that. <laughs> Laugh what you want now, but Squatches actually are known to smash things over the head to kill them. So you think, you honestly think we're going to encounter a Squatch, the Squatch is going to attack you, and your life is going to be saved because you're wearing a helmet. I mean... It's gonna bring a rock down I'm upon I'm not gonna say head. that's 100% We're certain. gonna get it on film. It's not we're gonna say, thank God Ryan had his helmet. I think we're ready to rock and roll, you baby. You look like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. It's a salamander. Oh, fuck, it's alive, dude. Yeah. Does it bite? <laughs> it's a little, uh, it's a little sa a newt or a salamander. He's just hanging out. His name is Cedric. He struck me as a Cedric when I first saw him after we destroyed his apartment. Look at his beady little eyes. I know. It looks like you. <laughs> it does. Oh, man, I can't wait to shave this stupid Bigfoot beard off. That's pretty good. You look like a man I would never talk to under any circumstances. What are you talking about? <laughs> Emma! Oh, God. You don't like it? No! Let's go find some ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> All other patients were evacuated to the parking lot and a small crew continued to work to save Gloria's life. It seems odd to evacuate all other patients. Why? Maybe just send the stink bomb out to the parking lot. That is true, why didn't they just like, take it her It had to be a huge amount of work to move everybody else out. <laughs> what if we take all of the patients outside and put them in the parking lot? Yep, good idea. <laughs> and then one guy in the back, you know, we could just- Shut up, <laughs> you idiot, we've already decided. The fourth theory is from the internet, where many believe that the emergency room incident is a strong case for Gloria Ramirez being a victim of alien abduction. Okay. <laughs> nope. You just shut your mouth. I'm Here. done. Uh-huh. 
I, look, I'm not saying this is what happened. I'm just saying it's a possibility. Can you say definitively that this is not a possibility that she wasn't abducted? I definitively cannot. It's okay. a theory then. Well, get into the theory. That is it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Fuck you. So right now we're at Voodoo Authentica. It's an authentic voodoo shop, as the name would suggest. Oh, and wow. we're gonna learn a little bit about voodoo. It's a push. Push it. I didn't see the sign. I know. So the negative connotation, that's all. You know, people think Voodoo's uses this evil thing where I'm gonna make a little Shane doll and then throw it into the ocean and watch it drown and what? then really smile Hang while on. he's sinking. Wait, what? Stuff like that. You just said that this is not what they're used for. Yeah, I know. But if they were used for that, this You is would kill me. You would murder me. It isn't hypothetical. I wasn't thinking of doing that. Ryan, smile. sometimes we argue on this show. I don't want to murder you. I never said I wanted to murder you. You want to kill me. It's, this is a hypothetical situation. Right, you don't know continue I'm... to tell me about voodoo now that I know you want me dead. I didn't ever say, you know what? Oh, okay. this feels great. It said that her spirit walks this entire cemetery. Okay. Obviously we can't get in because a lot of people vandalized the tomb. But we can't see her actual. No, but we could be at the gates, so to speak, spiritually and physically. Marie. I, oh really? Okay. Marie. Hold on. Marie! No, that's not gonna do anything. Marie! No. Can you see over this normally without jumping? Actually, yeah. To the spirits of here, this is to Allison. Yeah, we did. Oh, oh. It is best that you walk through backwards. Why is that? Well, everything is supposed to be seen from the mirror image in Voodoo, so it's kind of like you're coming through, so I guess born again. Case. You don't have to, really, you should come through dancing. Oh. And I will. And this is a joyous, I'm. Okay. I'm in, Ryan. I see that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 it's good. The second floor was rented out as an apartment and is also reportedly haunted. There's accounts of footsteps, shadows, and rocks being thrown. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That's Jody. The the doll? Mm-hmm. What's her deal? She will be the overseer of the haunted nursery of dolls that I'm going to have. I'm gonna buy you one of those for Christmas. Shut up, Shane. I took an improv comedy class once, because I'm a white guy, and uh, they said, just get out of your head. I can't though, it's a prison. I've always gotta think about stuff, you know? Like this mannequin in this dub. What's he doing here? Yeah, I'm not picking up. Let's go see what Ryan's doing. While Shane and I go change batteries, our audio recorder continued rolling inside the little boy's cupboard and picked up some peculiar noises. What if he talked when we were gone? Oh my God, I just got the chills thinking of that. That's fucking crazy. Kind of hear their whispering there? No. Okay. There, right there. Did you hear that? The wood the, or whatever? The cupboard, yeah. So the takeaway here is every little sound is a ghost. No, the takeaway here is that sounds that don't belong in that environment may or may not be ghosts. Okay. I'm gonna side with may not. <laughs> Anybody else in here at all? I'm gonna turn the, um, I'm gonna turn the light out. My jacket just moved in a way that it felt like somebody touched me on the shoulder. And if I think if I think you had felt it, you would scream. Turn the light out now. Wait, are you? Did you actually just comment on something that may have been paranormal? No, I said it was the way my jacket moved. It like uh, you wear a jean jacket. These things are. There it is. Yeah. I was just waiting for the logical explanation. There you go. Oh shit! You closing that door? No. Oh, how about that? Let's do that. That seems like a good idea. Let's lock ourselves in the murder room. We'll turn our lights off, I'll step out. Wait, what? That yeah. was never part of the bargain. Ryan, you have to face your fears. I think you just want to see me freak out. That's oh. what I think. That's Don't try true. and frame it like you're trying to help me, you dick. I know exactly what you're after. How about I go first? Fine. The walls of this. A lot of times I just do these because I know how much Ryan will hate it. And now I'm about 10 seconds away from Ryan entering the room and um, his mind will eat itself. It's going to be wonderful. 
All right, that's two minutes. Oh, fuck. I, uh, I don't really want to talk about what happened in there. So why don't you head in? Shut up, Shane. I don't really want to talk about what happened in there. <laughs> Make sure you turn your light out. Is that one of you? No. Did you just... Just talk on my shirt. No, we're not in the room We're not you. talking to you. Oh shit. Ah, ah, ah. That was a good trick. Okay. Did you touch the door? No. There's something creaking up in the attic. I'm leaving. Too late. You lost your chance. What the fuck you shit? You opened the door. <laughs> you... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Typical. We have fun. I really don't know. You don't want. You just don't want to be up here anymore. I don't want to be up in this room anymore. Okay. Please, let's leave. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> that was a good scream. I, I, I got to tell you, I'm, I'm really transfixed with this world. I know. It sounds like we do have to meet in the middle, which we did not tonight. But maybe in the future. No. I don't know, Ryan. I don't think so. I think we'll get there. I doubt it. You gotta learn to not be so scared, though. I think you need to learn how to uh, start seeing things for what they are. I think you need to learn how to shut the hell up. I think you need to learn how to shut the fuck up. I stepped it up with a bigger curse word there. Yeah, that was... We're losing track here. Yeah. I'm not even trying to be like a jerk about this. I'm just getting tired of you asking me if I get scared about things that I don't believe in. Well, one day I think you'll just finally wisen up. And you know. It's like asking me if, like... <laughs> Never mind. No, wait, finish the thought. Finish it. I was gonna say, it's like asking me if I'm concerned that when I fall asleep, the moon turns around and winks at me with a big evil face and has a boner or something. And I'm like, oh, of course not, because that's not real. Does the moon wear pants then to cover up its boner at all times? I don't know. I have never Why thought Why have I never that. seen the moon's boner? Because you just have to believe in it, Ryan. This is the dumbest example you've ever given. It's dumber than the Die Hard one. I think the moon having a boner is about as realistic as ghosts. <laughs> no, I know yeah. it is not. The, the dark side of the moon okay, having Paul. a giant... Everyone in the comments tell me what is more probable. No. The moon having yeah. a boner the or ghosts the moon, being real. The dark side no, of the moon no. just has a giant dusty boner. <laughs> dusty boner. That's about as real as, what, as ghosts. Oh,